Hey. Hey. What's poppin' guys? It's your girl, Hey Paris here, and we're back at it again with another story time. So, let me tell you straight up right now that you guys are actually getting two story times in one because over on my Let's Play channel, youtube.com slash playparis, I will be making the lady that I'm talking about in today's story, okay? I know I said I was gonna start off making my crazy ex-boyfriend, but I decided like, with every story that I tell you guys, I might as well make the person I'm talking about in that story from now on every time I have a story time. So, starting today, every time I do a story time, you can go over to my Let's Play channel and you guys can basically see what the person kind of looks like because I'm gonna ma be making them as Sims, so yeah. And while I make them, I'm gonna be telling you guys a mini story time about that person or about their personality or just be talking about them and what I know about them to make things a little bit more interesting over on my Let's Play channel. Hold up, you can see the background, my bad. Let me zoom in real quick. So yeah, about an hour after this story time is uploaded, I will be posting on Play Paris and telling you guys another story time over there. So make sure you're subscribed to youtube.com slash play paris as well as have your post notifications on so you do not miss it okay anyways as you can see from the title of this video y'all is nasty a lot of y'all are nasty okay also before i start the video let me know if you enjoy me standing up and moving around during my story times or you rather me be sitting down on the pink couch let me know in the comment section down below right now Thank you. So boom, y'all know I worked at Walmart or whatever, like we've been done told stories about Walmart over and over and over again. Uh-uh, the heater is too loud, one second. So yeah, y'all know I worked at Walmart and stupid dumb shit always happens at Walmart, whether you're a customer, whether you're a, uh, 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 what is it called? An employee, like if you go to Walmart, something is bound to happen, okay? But this is a little bit different because this was not on the floor. This is not while working. This is literally us trying to celebrate Christmas at Walmart. <laughs> So there's this lady at Walmart who, when I first met her, she seemed so sweet. She seemed like the sweetest little old lady in the world, okay? But the more I worked at Walmart, the more I realized that this bitch is either racist or she has a preconceived idea of how black people are. But that's not even a part of the story. I'm going to talk more about that on Play Paris, okay, when I make her, when you guys get to see what she looks like, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all a story on why I think that, but when I first met her, I really, really liked her. She was super, super sweet, uh, to me anyways, and kind of like a, a comfort zone to me. She felt like comfort, she felt like home because she kind of reminded me of my grandma in some type of way, like she was an older lady. Anyways, y'all know what a potluck is, right? If you don't, let me explain. A potluck is basically when you have a party and everyone who's coming to the party or most people who are coming to the party brings a dish so one person might bring macaroni and cheese someone else brings a potato salad someone else brings the 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 the, 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 the chicken someone else brings the uh what else do people eat the rice i don't know and then everyone comes together and gets a little bit of each and everyone eats all the food that was brought to the potluck. You bring your own food and everybody eats out of the food that you made and brought, okay? So if you ever worked at Walmart or any type of corporation, then you know that they have potlucks quite frequently. And if y'all know me, if you know your girl Paris, I'm a clean freak. I am literally borderline OCD when it comes to germs, when it comes to utensils, when it comes to eating at restaurants, like no, no. I told you guys before, when I go to restaurants, I always bring a plastic fork or spoon unless I forget. If I forget, then I literally go in their washroom with soap that is in my bag and I wash the spoon one more time or the fork one more time just to be sure because I think it's nasty. I think it's gross. I think it's disgusting. I'd rather use a plastic fork from my home, okay? I don't even use uh, metal utensils in my own house. And I know everybody in my house. Even if I lived alone, I wouldn't use silver utensils because I feel like forks, you see how a fork is like this? There's always gonna be food somewhere in between these little creases and crevices and I'm not here for it. I'm not trying to eat no last week chicken with soap inside of it. No, ew, gross, not me. So anyways, I'm a borderline OCD germ freak. Like if you guys saw inside of my bag, you would be like, Paris, you're crazy. And on top of me being a germaphobe, I cannot and will not eat from anyone's home. And I don't find it disrespectful. A lot of people are like, why don't you want to eat from me? How come you want to eat from us? It's not because I think you're nasty or you're dirty. It's just that I cook my food different than how you guys cook your food. And let me just tell you one time on Twitter, and a lot of this is going to cause controversy in the comment section once again. Okay, again, let me just talk about it really quick. 
One time on Twitter, I said, I can't believe people don't wash their chicken before they eat it. Bitch, I was getting death threats. A bitch was getting death threats because I cleaned my, my, my chicken. I cleaned my chicken and a bitch was getting death threats because I cleaned my chicken. Wait, I've never heard of someone not cleaning their chicken before. Like, this is gonna start an argument in the comments because you already know it. A bunch of people who are cooks and do this and do that are gonna be like, you're not supposed to clean your, your chicken because it's cross-contamination, blah, 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 blah. Bitch, I clean my chicken. Okay, I'm always clean my, my chicken, regardless of if I get cross-contamination or not, bitch. Because that's nasty. It's disgusting. It's gross. And I'm gonna stick to my word. If you got a problem with it, let's fight. I'm gonna clean my chicken and you not. End of sentence, end of story, end of discussion. And I feel like when I told people that I clean my chicken, and all these people were like, you're not supposed to. How are you gonna clean your chicken? That's gross. You're not supposed to clean your chicken. Y'all think I'm over here at the sink, like, scrubbing my chicken with soap and, and a, a sponge or some shit. I clean my chicken with vinegar and lemons. There's no water splashing off of the chicken and touching other surfaces of my kitchen. It's in a bowl. This is, this is what we're taught as Caribbeans, okay? As Caribbeans, we all, I don't know one Caribbean in this world who does not clean their meats and chicken before they eat it. That's just me. What are you mad at me for? Why you want me to die? Why are you telling me to kill myself? Because I, I wash my chicken and you don't. Bitch, you can go ahead and eat your nasty, disgusting, germ-infested chicken. I'ma still clean mine. Now what? Huh? And then there's people telling me, but Paris, do you know that restaurants don't clean their chicken on me? I don't care, bitch. I'm not seeing it, so I don't care. I'm saying when I clean my own chicken and my own meat, I clean them with vinegar or vinegar and lemons. What is the issue? This is turning into a whole different video. I'm sorry, let's get back to the topic. So anywho, anyways, I don't eat from nobody. I just don't, I don't want to, I never have, and I never will. Because I see shit like this on Twitter all the time, and I'm like, what? Bitches is cleaning their chicken, okay? In the same bathtub that their, their menstrual cycle goes down the drain it. I'm good on that. I'm straight. Some people are just dirty, some people are just nasty, and I don't know who you guys are because the nasty and dirty people in this world look just like me and you. So I don't know who's who, and I'm not taking no chances of eating bathtub, dirty bath water chicken. I'm not doing it. So I don't eat at potlucks. I don't eat at potlucks, I don't eat at my friend's house, I don't eat at nobody's house, nobody, no one. I don't trust none of you. Anyways, back to the topic. Actually, forgot it. Anyone who knows that line, you're OG and I respect you because you know which rapper said that. But anyway, we were having a Christmas potluck, I think a week or a few days before Christmas, okay? Which is normal at Walmart. You have potlucks. We all sit together at lunchtime. We all eat. We all enjoy each other's company and whatnot and talk about how we are a Walmart family, bitch. The only family I got is my mother, my father, and my brother, okay? And soon to be, not soon to be, you, you see my family already, Cameron and his parents, okay? All right. So anyway, I hate when corporations are talking about we all the family. No, we not. No, we not. I'm just complaining. This whole video just turned to a rant. Anyways, let me get back to the story and let me stay on topic. So, there was a little old lady at Walmart. We are going to name her. What are we going to name her? We are going to name her Tia. We're going to name her Tia, okay? Like I said, Tia was super nice to me all the time. She a little bit racist, a little bit controversial, but all in all, she, she is I. okay? There's a few things she said here and there that just tickled me the wrong way. Anyways, weeks before this potluck started, Tia was talking to us about how she has the best lasagna recipe of life. She's telling us my lasagna is crunchy, it's a little bit crispy, a whole lot of gooey. I use eight different types of cheeses in it. I season the beef to protect perfection i got goat cheese in there a little bit of truffle on top y'all know truffles expensive so i was like uh hmm okay like she's just explaining to us at lunchtime how she's gonna make it for the potluck so even though it sounds delectable what you're saying to me is very appealing i know i'm not gonna eat it because i just don't know what you do i don't know your hands been i don't know if you scratch the crotch crotch and sprinkle the dust on top to like for your secret sauce or your your secret seasoning. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do. I don't want to know what you do. I ain't gonna try it. But regardless, it sounded delicious. Fast forward now to the potluck date. There was this girl at Walmart that I want to consider her a friend, but like I'll talk to her every now and then. We are gonna name her
What's her real name again? Let me make sure it's not close to that. Oh, no, okay. Can't name her that. Let's name her, let's name her Tamara. Tia and Tamara. That way I won't forget when I make The Sims. I'm gonna make Tamara as well on The Sims. Just, just because, because we got time, okay? Anyways, and I'll tell a little story about her too over on my Let's Play channel. But anyway, Tamara, oh, see how my voice cracked right there? That's exactly how I feel about it. Tamara, she is, uh, she's greedy. I think that's the proper word to use. She's very greedy when it comes to like everything including her food. She's very greedy about her food as well. And what I mean by that is at the potluck, uh, we had one plate, obviously. Again, I didn't eat, didn't want to eat, decided not to eat, wasn't going to eat, okay? But everyone got one plate or whatever, right? And the only thing I put in my plate was salad because the salad was already pre-packaged, which means that nobody in the store made it. Like, it was made at a store or something, right? So I just hope that they wash their vegetables. But I just had a little bit of salad on my plate or whatever. Tamara now? Tamara? Bitch, it was a balancing act. Bitch was like, she was like, this is how she can't with no food because there was so much food on her plate. She had fish with chicken, rice with spaghetti, salad with potato salad, beans with greens, lasagna with potatoes, veggies with fruits, ham with spam, burgers with fries, coffee with tea, juice with water. Bitch had coleslaw with hummus. She had all of that on one plate, bitch. I ain't what? Bitch was like, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. She got the whole shebang. The whole shebang. I'm talking every single combo that could have been made there was all on her one plate, okay? And even though everybody's looking at her like, that's a that's a big piece of lasagna you took right there. Bitch, you took half the lasagna. She didn't give a damn. She not give one, two, or three dams, okay? Which I admire because, bitch, I love food too. I love me some, what you mean? But not from other people's house. But anyways, remember Tia made the lasagna and she was bragging about it. And when she was bragging about it, Tamara was with me. It was me, Tamara, and another girl that she was like bragging about like, My lasagna is so good. My lasagna, I put so many cheese, it's so good. That was her pretty low voice. I loved her voice. I don't care. She might have been a little bit racist, but like her voice was beautiful. She had the most softest, most ASMR voice of life. Okay, anyways. I don't know what all this was about, but that's how that's, this is how her voice made me feel. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting there enjoying my little salad, my little tomatoes or whatever. Tamara's sitting in front of me, like right directly in front of me. We're chatting a little bit or whatever. I'm on my phone scrolling, and all I hear is. <laughs> so I'm looking at Tamara like, "You good girl? Girl, you okay? What's wrong?" She ain't talking. Not a word. So me personally, like my biggest fear is to see someone choke, be, be, be like someone choking, which I've seen before. And it's a horrifying situation because you want to help them, but you don't know what to do other than learning the Heimlich maneuver. But that's another story for another time. Anyway, I'm asking, I'm like, are you choking? Because bitch, if you're choking, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta leave. I can't be traumatized now. <laughs> and mind you, when she did that sound, like all of her food went everywhere. It's a long table, so everybody's sitting you know, in front and beside each other. There was a man who does um, maintenance in Walmart sitting two seats beside me, and he had bits and pieces of lasagna on his shirt that came out of Tamara's mouth, okay? Luckily, nothing fell on me because I would have had a fight. Regardless of what's happening, we're going to have to fight because you spat on me. Well, no. Listen. Anyways, Tamara looks at me with the most shocked eyes ever. She's like, I said, girl, what? What? Talk. Because she don't want to talk. I don't know why she want to talk. I'm like, what's wrong? She said, this bitch, y'all listening? This bitch pulled out a bug that I've never seen before. This was not a cockroach. This was not a roly poly. This was not a fly. It wasn't a mosquito. I, I wish I could tell you guys what the fuck it was. I don't know what the fuck it was. I have no clue what that was. It was shaped like a roach, but it wasn't a roach. I thought it was a roach. We all thought it was a roach until we got a little bit closer. She had bit down on it, so like half of its back kind of cricked up a little bit. And this thing that looked like a roach had wings. And I said, no, bitch, this not a roach because roaches don't have wings. Roaches do not have wings, so what the hell is in your lasagna? I said maybe it's a secret ingredient or something because roaches don't have wings. Well, you know what? Let me let me Google if roaches have wings before I make myself feel like a fool. Do roaches have wings? Here's what I found on the web for 
do mountains have wings? I did not say mountains, bitch. Do roaches have wings? Okay, I found this on the web for do roaches have wings. Y'all, roaches have wings. It was a roach. I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. What? This bitch ate a roach. This bitch ate a roach? Nah. This bitch ate a roach. 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 I'm done. I can't. Y'all, this bitch ate a roach. Roaches have wings. Roaches have wings. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh my gosh. I ain't never in my life seen a flying roach. I'm upset. I'm upset. I am. I don't know if I can continue this video. I need to have a chat with Bill Nye the science guy because my nigga, you're supposed to be teaching me about science and you're telling me you didn't tell me that roaches have wings, bro? Yo, petition to sue Bill Nye the science guy though because you never taught me that roaches have wings, my guy. Someone tell Bill Nye the science guy to run up one time, bro. I'm done. I'm upset about this. So yo, the bitch ain't a roach. I, this is this is news to me. This is news to me because the whole time we were trying to figure out what kind of bug that was, I was like, it's not a roach. Everyone was like, everyone else around me was like, it's not a roach because it has wings. We could clearly see the wings like perked up, okay? It was a roach because roaches have wings and it looked like a roach. But the wings is what was making me be like, it can't be a roach. So the shit was a roach. It was a roach. This bitch ate a roach. I literally said to her, like, you want to just, like, make sure, go to uh, Tia and ask her, like, is this a secret ingredient? Like, is this, because we are not all the same culture, you know what I mean? So maybe she's using an ingredient that we are not aware of or we've never seen before. That's, I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, ask Tia, be like, is this a ingredient or something? Because it was in my lasagna that you made. So what is this? Now we know it's a roach, but I told her, go, go ask her. Cause the head wasn't on the roach. It was just the back of the roach and like the wings prepped up. Like th this part, like half of it was, I wish I could explain it y'all. It's not gonna make sense no matter how I say it. But you can see like a shell. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It was wings, bitch. It was wings. So anyways, I'm like, yeah, just go ask her. Cause there was no head on it. We were hundred percent sure it was a insect. Even though when we flipped it over, we saw all the little legs. Eh! I'm like, yo, just make sure because you don't want to make no false accusations on this lady talking about she got roaches in her food. You need to ask her straight up and personal to her face what this is. So Tamara went up to Tia and Tamara was like, hey Tia, um, I was enjoying your lasagna, but this was in it. Do you know what it is? Tamara said, what do you, what do you do? Stop, stop. I kid you not, Tia boxed the roach out of Tamara's hand. Like the roach went flying across the room. And then all I see is Tia dragging Tamara out of the lunchroom. So I'm like, what had happened? What had happened? I wonder if anyone discovered that roach because it went like under the counter right there. And now they probably think Walmart got roaches. So they go out and Tamara comes back in and she looks disgusted. She looks pale. She looks like she's about to throw up. And I go to her and I'm like, what happened? What did she say? Tamara told me that Tia explained to her that she's been having a roach issue in her home and she apologizes and she's sorry and it wasn't intentional and she was like on the verge of crying, which I feel so bad for her because she's an older lady and obviously I don't want an older lady crying or feeling bad because roaches are in her house. That's not her fault. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Either way, I want an old lady crying, you know what I mean? So I felt bad, a little bit, cause she, she racist, but I still felt bad. So after Tamara told me that, I was like, see, this is why I don't eat from nobody's house, okay? After that, Tamara went to our manager. I don't know what she said to the manager. All I know after that, what happened next was our manager came in, told everyone to stop eating. Everybody eating from the potluck, please stop what you're doing. If you have a piece of lasagna in your plate, Please throw it out right now. Again, if you have a piece of lasagna on your plate, do not eat it. Throw it out. Everybody looking around like, what in the hell is going on? Then my manager took the big pot of lasagna, or what is this called? The baking tin of lasagna, and walked out the room with it. I said, this is a health hazard. Bitch, I should claim that I ate a roach and I got sick and sued the hell out of Walmart. That's what I should do. Buy my mama a house, you know what I mean? Maybe slip while I'm in the washroom as well. Something. But I didn't do that. Because <laughs> I'm a good girl. Either way, somehow everyone figured out that, um, I almost said her real name, that Tia had roaches 
and there was a roach in her lasagna and people are more sympathetic to her than rude or laughing at her so that's that warms my heart anyways guys that's the story make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram all that jazz in the description box down below for your convenience leave a comment down below and let me know if you eat from other people let me know if you no listen leave a comment down below and let me know if you wash your chicken do you wash your chicken Cause if you don't, we can square up real quick. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, all that jazz in the description box down below. For your convenience, remember that I will be making, almost said her name again, I will be making Tia and Tamara over on my Let's Play channel. You guys will be able to see me create them and get a hint of what each of them look like. Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for doing this series, but it's going down. Also, me and my fiance have a vlogging channel, youtube.com slash pariscam, where you can see back scenes of our lives and what we do on a daily basis and all that okay so check them out all of my other channels are in the description box down below so check them all out put your post notifications on so we can get it popping all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video i love you guys so much don't gotta tell you twice and i'll see you on the flip side totals bitch